Okay, we have to make a histogram out of this data. Now, first thing with a histogram is, a histogram is not a bar chart, which means we're not going to plot the frequency on the y-axis. With a histogram, the y-axis is frequency density, okay? Or FD. Okay, so that's the first thing. Next, the frequency is the area of each box that we're going to plot. So write frequency equals area there. What I mean is when we start plotting these box things, okay, the area of each box has to equal this, the frequency. Right, so that's the next thing. Very important. Third thing, we need to know the width of each box that we're going to plot. So add a width column. And the width is well, from there to there, so 0 to 5, the width is 5. 5 to 15, a width of 10. 15 to 30, width of 15. 30 to 40, width of 10. 40 to 60, width of 20. Okay, good. Next. we're going to work out what the actual frequency density, the thing that we're going to plot, is for each of our five rows. Now, like I said, the area, okay, is the frequency. That's that. The height of this box is the frequency density, that. And the width is the width, okay, of each of our sections. I don't know what they're called. Each of our five things, the width. So this is a rectangle. So the area of a rectangle is width times height. We've agreed that the area is the frequency, therefore frequency is the width, we've just called it width, times the height, the frequency density. So bring width over here, therefore frequency density is frequency divided by width. Right, so therefore, to fill in this column, we do frequency divided by width, which is that divided by that. Okay, so we're gonna do that divided by that, that divided by that, and so on, to give that. Okay, and when you do that, you get 8 divided by 5 is 1.6. 32 divided by 10 is 3.2. 36 divided by 15 is 2.4. 18 divided by 10 is 1.8. And 6 divided by 20 is 0.3. Okay. And that's how you work out the frequency density for a histogram. Right, the biggest value is 3.2, and they've given us four large divisions on the question sheet, or answer sheet, whatever. So, it's clear that we're going to have to stop at four. So that's how you should label your y-axis. And now we're ready to plot. 
we're going to plot the frequency density up here and we're going to use these time divisions with these widths along here. So let's go. Frequency density 1.6, it's about there. Width of 5 from 0 to 5. So width of 5, 0 to 5. Boom, there's our first box. Next one, frequency density 3.2, width of 10. 3.2 is about there. Width of 10, so it's going from 5 to 15, yep. Yeah. Okay. It's going along to there. Next one, 2.4. Width to 15, from 15 to 30. 2.4. There, width of 15, from 15 to 30. Next, 1.8, width of 10, from 30 to 40. 1.8, width of 10, from 30 to 40. Finally, 0 0.3, width of 20 from 40 to 60. 0 0.3 is about there from 40 to 60. Should have done that in a different color really. Tell you what, let's give them a quick shade. So our first oh, bloody pens. I hope that looks a little bit clearer now I've filled them in. So that's it. That, my friends, is how it's done.